Greetings, Edge Runners, and welcome to another episode of Cyberpunk 2077. I'm Cobalt Thorium. And we whoa, that was interesting. And we are heading over to um meet with this Militech agent for the what I assume is the primary quest of the game. They are quite far away. It might make sense to I don't know, hitch a ride or something. Actually it would make more sense than anything to get rid of this gun. Am I going the wrong way? Guess so. Crowded streets. Folks buying stuff from vending machines. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so the folks buying stuff from vending machines, that's a nice take. That's a nice, um, uh, a little bit of atmosphere that they added that to the AI. I mean, in general, the crowd AI is not bad. It's it's a little bit lacking when it comes to running away from hazards and stuff. Like, they won't run far enough away, and then they'll cower for like ten minutes. They'll they'll like literally cower until you leave and come back, even if you were, you know, fighting gang members or something that was like something that they should kind of approve of. Like they still get freaked out by you, which is a little weird. But yeah, making our way over here. It's asking me to come a little bit closer to the sidewalk. Let's take a look, a peek at our uh, map and see where we're going here. So the bar, there's a fixer there. Uh, should I just call the call a ride? There's really no objectives along the way. And we're pretty much going into territory that we've been before. So that kind of makes sense. Ooh. How do I call my car anyway? V. Oh, hello. Get in. Alright, I did learn that you can switch your view. What shaking night city? Your man stand here. <laughs> oh, now, this could just be rumors, but word is a new scary line has been crossed. Good old fashioned bribes as a means of control could go extinct. Soon, none of us may ever be sure again if we're acting of our own volition or are the unwitting victims subliminal manipulation? Puppets. Has it really come to this, Night City? Oh, where am I going? It seems... It's some weird music. Not sure I like it. Give me some cyberpunky techno y music, please. This works. It's a little subtle and repetitive, perhaps a little bit boring. Here's a red light. Now yeah, it's going green. Does it automatically give you greens? What is that? There was just a police badge up on my mini map. And then disappeared. Whoop! Didn't mean to do that. What happens to your car if it gets destroyed? Like, if it gets exploded, does it respawn? 
What's the deal with that? Okay, it says to continue going this way. It's a little surprising because the meeting is over there. like blinkers. I like this car. It's very cool looking. It's got a nice balance of class and just badassness, I guess. Out. Take it you were the one to call? I was. How do I talk to you? What? What just happened? Thought you could blackmail me, bitch? Set conditions? Got any more for me? Calm the fuck down! I just want to talk. What are you doing to me? Christ, Meredith! Shut your trap! That fucking thing ready? All set. Now answer my questions. Honestly. Forthrightly. Are you here alone? Uh... I'll tell you who's alone. You. Fail to recover that transport, and you're done. With not a soul willing to help. Not another word. Do a sweep, now. Ooh. This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist. Is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? I got no got ties. Got no ties to Militech. None. Shut down. So how the fuck do you know so much? Come on, all corps use the same playbook. I know the game inside out. Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. <sighs> I told you! I fucking told you! I'm not the mole! Jesus Christ! Shut him I up! I kinda wanna take her out. Unhand me now before kinda I really hate her. <laughs> hate her, this guy too. Attacking me and shit. What she has to say. Uh could have talked normally from the start. Couldn't have. Uh, Couldn't have been chill from the start? Shut the fuck up. Tell me what you want. I want info. I want a bot. Let's make a deal. I need a bot. Flathead model. Guys who ripped you off have it. Promise me that bot. I'll point the finger. You have a plan how to deal with them? Could just take it by force, but they're expecting payment, so I could go that route too. Fine. The latter. But on one condition. You pay with our money. So, are they gonna be like marked bills or something? Oh. Interesting. I know you spiked the chip. That the kind of subtlety they teach at Militech? Chip spiked with a virus, clearly. That is true. Something goes wrong. I'm the one they'll fill full of holes, not you. Time you were straight with me. What's on there? A tracing algorithm. Latches on to financial streams. Nothing you need to worry your head about. Hmm. Let's do it. Sounds solid enough. Amen. Encrypted shard. Some shards you find in the world will contain information hidden behind data encryption measures. To decrypt a shard, first either open it through the notification when you acquire it, or find it later in the shards tab under journal in the main menu. Then select crack shard or crack, sorry. Then select Crack Security to unlock its secrets. I wonder what happens if you fail. You pay with that chip? 
and that's all you gotta worry about. Try to fuck me in any way, and I'll be seeing you real soon. Hmm. Oh, I like that. That's nice. Hmm. How'd my car get over here? All right. Remove the virus from the chip. Optional. Well, I think I'm gonna save before that. So let's do that. Game saved. Because uh, I don't know what happens if you fail. So let's, let's give it a peek. Uh, journal? Oh, no, I want journal shards. Shards? Yeah. Articles? Technology. World notes. One Miltech dashboard. All right, let's try this. Crack security. Boom. All right, so we need sequence. BD BD FF five five. So. BD, BD, FF, 5-5. Five, five. That's easy. Could we get both of them? We want to neutralize. No, we want to copy the malware. That sounds good. Um, is there some way we can get both? FF1C, or uh, sorry, 551C, E9BD, wait, do these change every so, so often? Okay, let's try this, FF1C, E9, oh, I can't continue after that, huh? That sucks. All right. All right. Okay. Eddie's on the cred ship are clean. All right, let's meet with Jackie. Well, actually, um, we've done quite a bit in this episode, so maybe right now is a good time to wrap it up and continue on to the next section of this main quest, which is getting pretty interesting, to be perfectly honest. So, yeah, so thank you very much for joining me. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. And if you are, uh, please leave a like. Whoa. Please leave a like and maybe give me a subscribe. That would be great. Comment, all that business. Uh, let me know what you think. And I will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.